Welcome to Celtic Central News, the epic enter of news and updates about the Celtic world. I'm Matthias, your host passionate about everything related to the Celtic universe. I'm thrilled to embark on this exciting journey with all of you, bringing the latest news, analyses, and curiosities about the Celtic realm. And to make this start even more special, we have an amazing surprise for our first 100 subscribers. Are you ready to compete for a signed jersey and an official pair of boots? Yes, you heard it right. Don't miss the chance to become part of the Celtic Central News family from the beginning and compete for these exclusive prizes. So, subscribe now, turn on notifications, and get ready for a season full of Celtic emotions. Let's go on this passionate journey together. Celtic is faced with the need to disperse £6 million to secure the permanent signing of Paolo Bernardo. During the current summer transfer window, the Scottish club has come across the opportunity to secure the permanent services of both Bernardo and Adam Ida. As reported by the Daily Record in its February 6 edition, on page 60, the boys have been informed of the option to finalise the signing of midfielder Bernardo for approximately £6 million at the end of the season. The 22-year-old player joined the team on loan from Benfica last summer. Although it took some time for him to adapt at Parkhead, Bernardo has evolved into a key figure under the guidance of Brendan Rodgers, notably after Rio Haytate's injury. According to the Daily Record, Bernardo has expressed satisfaction in Glasgow and desires a permanent move. Additionally, there is also the possibility for Celtic to finalise the signing of Adam Ida at the end of the season. The player, loaned from Norwich City in January, will have the final say on his future, opening a window of opportunity for the boys to decide to sign him if they wish. Bernardo made his mark by scoring for Celtic in the Old Firm derby in December, while Ida recently made his debut as a substitute in the 1-1 draw against Aberdeen at Pitodre. Rogers expressed his frustration by admitting that Celtic could have done better in the January transfer window, highlighting missed opportunities to strengthen the depth and quality of the squad. Although Celtic is still considered the favourite to win the Scottish Premiership, the assurance of that is far from absolute. The title race has become fascinating, especially after Rangers narrowed the gap. At this moment, Celtic seems to be facing challenges while the Rangers exude full confidence. However, there is still a lot of football to be played this season, and it is premature to make any definitive assessment of the title race.